one station making history every day. My sweet home, Now, Don Wade and Roma. <laughs> Eight away to the morning with Don Wayne and Roma. This is the center of everything. We're the center of everything, uh, except for that little, well, the little incidental G8 thing at Camp David. We are it, and um, and so are the protesters. They're all here. Andy Thayer is, uh, let's see, part of the Coalition Against the NATO G8 War and Poverty Agenda. I, I, I don't know exactly. Let's talk to Andy and find out. Uh, Andy, what what is the name of your group? It's the uh, Coalition Against NATO G8 War and Poverty Agenda. Oh, I got it right. Short. Oh, There you go. Okay. So are you considering your protest successful up to this point? Yes. Yes. Um, our main protest was uh, yesterday, and I think anyone who witnessed what the vets did down at the south end of our march route there, um, it's something they're never going to forget for the rest of their lives. I mean, it was a terribly, terribly moving uh, event where they basically rejected the so-called war on terror. They threw away their medals, uh, and they also sought reconciliation with the Afghan and Iraqi people. It was, it was really a, a, a very, very moving event. I, I, I will never forget it, that's for damn sure. Well, and they wanted it to end peacefully. They wanted it to. They wanted to then move on out west and have it end. And that's what they did, and that's what most of us did. I know that some people stayed and they did their thing. Uh, we told the crowd that the event was over, and most of us left. Um, we weren't in a position to force people to do otherwise that that didn't want to. Um, but for us, the main thing was the vets in terms of the message that they were sending. And I, I would hope, frankly, uh, uh, that YouTube, WLS, and other outlets would honor that by not obscuring that message because these are the folks who have sacrificed more than any other American. Well, actually, Andy, we expressed uh, exactly that thought earlier this morning, pretty early, uh, the fact that the, the part you. of the protest that one had to respect was th for those people who had honorably served this country uh, and put their lives uh, in jeopardy, well, and, and, then, and then they had a change of mind. Now, you, can, you well, have to respect here, them. Here, here's, 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 I think, what you have to say is, is that... Um, that they didn't believe that they did serve their country. And that was a whole point of the ceremony, that they felt that they were used horribly by their government, both the Bush administration and the Obama administration. And that was part of their message, that they were used horribly and they did awful, awful things to the Iraqi and Afghan people. And they sought forgiveness for that. I mean, that was really the message. So they didn't feel like they served anyone except for a tiny elite in this country for very base uh, uh, objectives. Well, um, they so didn't go a wall, so they, they obviously they can... Uh, they, Some of them they, did. Well, well oh, I Some see. They went a wall, and then they got a medal for going a wall. Well, some of them had gotten medals before they went a wall. Most of them served their terms yeah. and then rejected it uh, after they did so, but a few of them uh, were resistors as well. All right, Andy, and tell us about today. To, before. Tell us about uh, Boeing today. What what is the thrust of your, uh, your 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 protest today against Boeing? Well, Boeing hasn't paid any federal taxes uh, from 2008 through 2011. They got a 31 million dollar gift from the state of Illinois and the city, uh, and on top of that. You know, despite you know paying no tax and getting this huge tax break, then so it's a tax. Billion. This is a tax protest. Well, it's 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 part of the picture. It's part of the picture that they are getting rich off of America's wars. Um, certainly not getting rich off the Dreamliner these days. Well, but uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, the people people have made money off of war. Well, down at the at the uh, the. Uh, 
uh, Museum of Science and Industry, they had a, a display of Leonardo da Vinci's war machines, uh, and, and where he was paid by the various kings to develop the, these various uh, uh, portable bridges and things like that. Are, I mean, this has been done attack. historically. Catapults. Countries and pay people to develop weaponry and munition, uh, whatever they are, to. To defend the country, I, I think we should. I think we should be a little more discerning in what we honor people for. I mean, Leonardo made, made many other advances for humanity. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't think you can say that Boeing has has leavened its uh, its its negative military. How, how did the people who came to town to Leonardo protest got. get here? Did they come on a Boeing aircraft? Actually, a lot of them came on Amtrak trains that have been surely cut back thanks to that. Situation. Yeah, but but some of them did come on Boeing aircraft, didn't they? <laughs> so. they could, a lot of them could have come on an Airbus as well, which also gets its own military contract. But the point is that Boeing is using the city. It, it left the Pacific Northwest in order to get away from the the unions up there, they and you think a couple of hundred, hundred mainly out of town jobs, and uh, for those jobs they got thirty one million dollars, and they have paid no federal taxes two thousand eight yeah. to two thousand eleven. Well, and, and I think that's the kind of gifts to the one percent that a lot of the Occupy folks have been uh, ticked off about, uh, myself included. And then on top of it, that, of course, they are exporting arms, of course, with the U.S. blessing. Yeah. Will the black bloc... ...a very, very nasty uh, uh, dictatorship such as the Saudis. Uh, Andy, will the black bloc join you in your protest at Boeing today? I, I really don't know. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Andy Thayer, thanks so much. Uh, it's quarter past eight, WLS. 89 WLS.